Have you ever tried to catch the present moment like really grab hold of now? Not just noticing what's around you but actually living in the razor-sharp sliver of time called the present? Here's the wild truth, you can't. Not quite, let me show you why. First, your brain is always lagging behind reality. Every time light hits your eyes or a sound reaches your ears, a tiny delay sneaks in. It takes time for those signals to reach your brain. Plus, your brain needs about 80 milliseconds to process everything and make sense of it. So, what you feel as now is actually a sort of time-stamped replay, your brain's best guess at what just happened. Think about when you tap your finger. You see it and feel it at the same time, but in reality, light reaches your eyes way faster than the sensation travels through your nerves. Your brain actually waits, holding back the visual info just a little so it lines up with the slower touch signal. It's like editing a video in real time, syncing up the audio and the picture so everything seems smooth. But here's the twist. The present isn't a single sharp moment. Philosopher William James called it the specious present, a tiny window, maybe half a second to three seconds long, where everything feels immediate. During this window, your brain is blending what just happened, what's fading from memory, and even what might come next. So the present is actually a fuzzy overlap of the past and the future. And it gets weirder. Neuroscientists say your brain is basically a prediction machine. It's always guessing what's about to happen, using your memories and expectations to fill in the blanks. For example, when you catch a ball, you don't just react. You predict where it's going to be, then your brain edits your experience of now as new info comes in. The present isn't just a reflection. It's a forecast, tweaked in real time, but physics throws another curveball. According to Einstein, there's no universal now. If you're zipping around in a rocket, or standing near a black hole, your present is different from mine back here on Earth. Time is relative. Your now is only real in your own little patch of the universe. So, can you ever experience pure presence? That's where meditation comes in. When you focus on your breath or sit in silence, you might feel like you slip out of time, like you're living in pure awareness. Neuroscience shows that in these moments, the part of your brain that creates the story of you and time quiets down. But even then, your brain is processing that experience after it happens. Here's the verdict. You can never truly touch the present moment in an absolute sense. Scientifically, now is an illusion, stitched together by memory, prediction, and a bit of neural magic. But existentially, presence is real. It's the art of paying attention, of not chasing the next second or clinging to the last. Like Alan Watts said, the only thing you can experience is the present. But as soon as you think about it, it's already a memory. To really touch now, you have to stop measuring it. So, what do you feel, right now?